Sexual misconduct allegations have forced three lawmakers to resign this week. The latest is Congressman Trent Franks of Arizona, who announced his resignation just hours after Senator Al Franken. Our Liz Palka joins us live in Washington this morning with how this shines a spotlight on others. Liz, good morning. Good morning, Julie. As he announced his resignation, Senator Franken called out two others, Roy Moore and the president. Democratic Senator Al Franken, one of three lawmakers calling it quits on Capitol Hill this week. The Minnesota lawmaker announced his resignation Thursday, just hours before Congressman Trent Franks. The Arizona Republican said he's stepping down because he asked two female staffers to be surrogate mothers. And earlier in the week, it was Michigan Congressman John Conyers. But it was Franken who called out President Trump and Senate candidate Roy Moore. I am leaving while a man who has bragged on tape about his history of sexual assault sits in the Oval Office, and a man who has repeatedly preyed on young girls' campaigns for the Senate with the, with the full support of his party. Franken referencing the infamous Access Hollywood bus tapes that involved President Trump before he took office. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. The president addressed uh, the comments back during the campaign. Uh, we feel strongly that the people of this country also addressed that when they elected Donald Trump to be president. Franken also addressed Moore, who's running in Alabama's special election next week, who has been accused of assaulting minors years ago, allegations he vehemently denies. The Republican National Committee now backing more after previously pulling their support. The president still faces accusations from more than a dozen women who accuse him of sexual misconduct. Again, he denies these allegations. Julie? And Liz, these are, this is a lot of development this week. What are lawmakers doing in light of all of these allegations and resignations? Right. Well, Julie, the House Administration Committee held a hearing yesterday to talk about these sexual harassment claims and how they're handled in Congress. One of the things that was front and center were these settlements and how they happen and how they're taken care of between a congressional office and an accuser. So we hope to hear more on that. Julie? Liz Palka, live for us in Washington this morning.